networked multimedia applications are rapidly being deployed in campus, LAN and WAN environments. From the corporate perspectives, network multimedia applications such as network TV or video conferencing hold tremendous promise as the next generation of productivity tools. The use of digital audio and video across corporate network infrastructures have tremendous potential for internal and external applications. The World Wide Web is a good example of network multimedia and its manifold capabilities. Can you believe more than 85% of personal computers sold are multimedia capable? This hardware revolution has initiated a software revolution that has brought a wide range of audio and video based applications to the desktop. It is not uncommon for computers to run video editing or image processing applications such as Adobe Premiere and Photoshop in addition to basic productivity applications like word processing, spreadsheet and database applications. The proliferation of multimedia enabled desktop machines has spawned a new class of multimedia applications that operate in network environments. These network multimedia applications leverage the existing network infrastructure to deliver video and audio applications to end users. The applications such as video conferencing and video server applications. With these application types, video and audio streams are transferred over the network between peers or between clients and servers. To successfully deliver multimedia over a network, it is important to understand both multimedia and networking. Three components must be considered when deploying network multimedia applications in campus, LAN and WAN environments. 1. Bandwidth How much bandwidth do the network multimedia applications demand and how much bandwidth can the network infrastructure provide? 2. Quality of service what level of service does the network multimedia application require and how can these be satisfied through the network? Multicasting Does the network multimedia application utilize bandwidth saving multicasting techniques and how can multicasting be, su be supported across the network? For effectively deploying network multimedia applications, the topics which are very important are 1. Multimedia Basics which includes analog video, digital video, video compression and digital audio standards. Second, using networked multimedia applications. and includes bandwidth and the quality of service requirements. Understanding multicasting and which includes internet group management protocol, distance vector multicast routing protocol, multicast open shortest path first protocol. Protocol independent multicast and simple multicast routing protocol and fourth is network designs for multimedia applications is includes traditional LAN design, WAN designs and high speed LAN designs.